my work is not abstract, but is not also uh, realistic. So it's something in between. It's true that create memories of forms of existing, uh, natural forms also, like uh, water, like, uh, but it's not water, like horizon, that is not horizon. It seems like a hawk of a fisherman. The important for art is to, to have these archaic meanings, you know, to, to have this, this classical uh, meanings of the life. So it's natural that a work remain you a, a, a lot of memories. Because uh, a work of art is impossible to come from nothing. It's a cultural thing. So the problem is to express the culture, if it's possible, the culture of the place. But uh, to realize that is necessary that the sculpture become, become part of the space and part of the culture of the space and uh, um, be like, uh, like it was like it was always there, there. It was, it's a natural thing. I will never forget it. He was sitting sort of with a piece of paper and he drew the shape of the sculpture on the paper, a tiny bit of paper, and said, well, this is it. And everyone said, fantastic, that's it. So, this first drawing that, we, that I do, the second day that I was in Tacoma, is exactly the, the work that we do here. This is Costas. Nice to meet you. Good, good, good. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. What do we do? What do we do? What do you think? Well, I'm trying to find out. So, either my shop put those little outriggers in the wrong place, or my detailer screwed up, or the surveyor screwed up. Uh, what is the most fast solution? Try to find some way to weld that to the building with something temporary. Then I can get rid of the cranes and we can fix everything up there. I don't know what they're going to do. They're going to have to bring it back down, I guess. Take those things off, put them in the right place, put it back on again. The elements that they had to be attached to the building, they don't fit. So there is a difference of. I don't know how much, probably 40 centimeters. They were doing metric system. That's why I told Costas. <laughs> they were doing meters instead of feet. It's all screwed up. It's strange, but in every big sculpture, big project, very important project that I've I, I done in my life, we have strange delays, strange uh, waitings, uh, strange uh, uh, difficulties. But. Uh, I think that we have to take it like a normal process of the work. In effect, is, uh, there are moments that they give you the possibility to think and look in, inside yourself and to, to understand the work and, and the loneliness uh, also help uh, in this uh, reflection. The last news. Okay, the last news of the project is that the glass that we already ordered from China is not uh, fit in the um, iron beam, so we have to cut a small piece from every piece of glass so we can make it fit in the, in the, in the iron uh, beam. So uh, actually I have, we have another delay. So I changed my schedule and I will stay until the opening here. And I think that I will ask from the American government the green card also. So after all this uh, time here, I can become a kind of uh, uh, immigrant. Can we just go in there and start going? Because okay. we get down here about 6, 6.15 in the morning. So we'll just, we'll just start going. Okay. We got the idea of what's yeah. going on. It's basically an ultraviolet curing resin. 
that adheres the glass together. Spread, we spread the adhesive, hit it with ultraviolet light, and it adheres it together. I even put uh, suntan lotion on it and it still, still gets you. We had enough glue to do the entire sculptural 28 feet of it. And then an engineer frantically, because of the city was objecting, called and said they had to really trowel on the glue to cover the entire surface of the, of the glass before laying the next piece of glass on top. Um, which meant that we ran out of glue with, uh, after the first sort of three feet, which is unfortunate, and we couldn't get it manufactured, so there was, we had to stop everything. There are a lot of discussions around with engineers, a lot of engineers, engineers of the glass, engineers of the structure, uh, big meetings, and finally we decided the, the way and go on more fast. We had to revisit with the glass engineer and said, well, why aren't you using silicone? And we said, because, and he said, well, silicone is much better because it's very UV tolerant, which we didn't realize. And um, he said it's a little bit flexible, which you need, and it's very strong. So the rest of the sculpture was finished with the uh, silicone. Yeah. Seeing the pole. Seeing the pole. Didn't you go to school for architecture? Oh yeah, many years. So can you talk about how your work is influenced well, by that? I do architecture school to escape from the art. Because I do first art, so I realize how difficult it is to be an artist. To do really art. I, did, I said I have to find a way to escape. So we do architecture school. But I find the architectural school very, very, very interesting school because you get the humanistic culture. No? The architectural school gives me the dimension of the public space, of the city, of the urbanistic, uh, urbanistic dimension of the space. But the art usually didn't give you that. No? Something more individual, more. Uh, esoteric. So it was very important. Then I come back to the art. <laughs> I never do architecture. <laughs> but my, my sculptures are architectonic. They have an architect dimension. What is the goal today? Today? Yeah. Right huh? there. Saturday night, hopefully here, maybe yeah. right to it. Sunday. Tacoma is a place that uh, there is a lot of energy. All the people of Tacoma, they try to push up the quality of, of the city, to create an energy, a new uh, dimension of Tacoma. Uh, and they do it very well, I think. So the, the, the work is actually a sign in the space, express the dynamism of this historical moment of Tacoma.